All right, so we have the Smith & Wesson SD9. It's gonna be kind of fun. This is the first time I've ever shot this gun. That spring's kind of tight in there. So I got, I got to shoot it a little bit here. I haven't sighted it in to me, so I'm not like super concerned uh, about being perfectly on center. But I'm more, you know, looking at the group sizes. That's the biggest thing for me. And I'm excited to really shoot this because, you know, I've heard that people who, who have these guns, they really like them. Obviously, it was kind of a known knockoff of a Glock, which is a good gun. So much so that Glock sued Smith & Wesson. They settled outside of court, but it was a under patent infringement. But if you take this gun apart, you'll, you'll see it looks very much like a Glock internally. So I'm excited to shoot this and see how much so it, it actually resembles a Glock. So we have the target here at three yards. So we're gonna do our usual thing, three, five, seven, and 10 yards. All right. All right, now we're gonna go out to uh, five yards. Yeah, this spring here on the magazine is still pretty tight, so I got my little speed loader here. Uh, if you were considering, you know, getting this gun, I'd recommend, you know, get get yourself a nice little speed loader. These little up Lulas work pretty well. So it looks like those are pretty good groups. I'm just gonna keep my pace. Uh, five shots, two seconds, as best as I can here. Get back on target. Oh wow, those were really low. Okay. That was actually really surprising because it looked like I had a really nice sight picture on there. Uh, to so see those low, that was really, really surprising. But nice groups. So nonetheless, nice groups. And one of the things that a lot of people do uh, with these guns, just like with Glocks, because these are polymer sights, is they tend to upgrade the sights. So if you're upgrading, that gives you also the opportunity to kind of um, readjust them to you. You know, which if you are going to upgrade, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily suggest go and get a bunch of time behind the gun if you're going to upgrade the sights to say like adjustable sights or high vis or tritium sights because you're gonna have to readjust those new sights anyways. So in my mind, save yourself the ammo because you're gonna readjust them either way. All right, so now we're at seven yards, 21 feet. Uh, let's keep that pace, five shots, two seconds there. Ooh. Got a nice uh, vertical line there. I'd rather see a vertical line than a horizontal line. The grouping wasn't too bad for seven yards, uh, probably like two and a half inch group. So let's go ahead and take this out to 10 yards. Ooh, all right, check this out. So that was four shots and we had one of the rounds get jammed up in there. So failure to, uh, to feed, not to eject, that, that other one ejected just fine. So. <clears throat> Definitely some getting used to. So with that trigger pull, uh, some of those, especially on that 30 yard or the 10 yard one, I did find myself prematurely pulling the trigger uh, because the the reset on this is really far out comparative to any of the guns that I normally uh, shoot. So like my, my 226 has a short reset trigger or SRT. Um, same as like I shoot a lot of 1911s, like, uh, you know, I got like my staccato, it's a 2011, but you, you get the point. Uh, shorter reset uh, triggers. This would take some getting used to. However, I think that if this was your first gun or you're coming from revolvers, I don't think that this is gonna be anything too uh, foreign for you. All right, let's go ahead and bring this carrier home. Let's see what we got. Yep, so nothing too out of the ordinary. 
I know people give me flack off, you know, for the uh, for shooting off to the left a little bit, and you know, <clears throat> I'm like I said, I'm more so concentrating on the groups here. Um, I typically do zero my guns to compensate for my own issues, but uh, anyways, I think that these are actually pretty decent groups out of a you know sub four hundred dollar gun. Smith & Wesson SD9, baby.